بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو سالر خان یوٹیوب چینل وی ٹو ڈے وی سی واٹ وی سی سم آپریشن اکنامکس یو کٹ سے اور دی اکنامک لوڈ ڈسپیچ پرابلم وی بین سینگ بٹ ٹو ڈے دس از دی آپریشنل اکنامکس آف ہائیڈرو تھرمل کوارڈینیشن اگین سو بیسیکلی وی ہیو سین دی آپریشن اکنامکس پریویسلی اینڈ واٹ واز دیٹ سو واٹ از دا موٹیو آف دس از ٹو ریڈیوز دا کاسٹ آف الیکٹریسٹی ٹو یو ٹو نو دا پر یونٹ کاسٹ آف دا جنریشن آف الیکٹریسٹی الیکٹریسٹی سو دا تھنگ از دیٹ ٹو ٹے وی سی اٹ فرام دا ہائیڈرو تھرمل کوارڈینیشن پوائنٹ آف یو Previously, we saw examples, right? The load curve was given or the data was given. So we, we found out what we found out the, the cost of electricity. Over here, we see a little minor difference would be that uh, we would go from hydro point of view. We would go from the thermal point of view. So we, if we are given a particular demand, a particular energy consumption. So if we are considering, if we are, uh, you know, supplying it through hydro, what would be the cost? If we are supplying it through thermal, what would be the cost? And in fact, then if we coordinate the two in some way or the other, uh, you know, that one is supplying a particular amount, the other is supplying a particular amount, depending on the base load, depending on the peak load, depending on whatever it is so we we determine the cost of electricity right so this one so we've seen these sort of examples previously you would remember but the thing is that over here we see it from the hydrothermal coordination point of view right yes so let's say we have the first example so i've got four questions over here i'll do two in this video two in the next right yes so example number one the annual load duration curve of a power system is shown so you have example number one, the annual load duration curve is shown like this. Uh, and you would remember that we've previously also seen this sort of a curve. This is an annual curve. The power is given in megawatts. And this is what, this is between 50 megawatts to zero. And this is over the year. So over the year means this are eight, seven, six, zero hours. And this is given is 50 megawatts is your maximum demand right the power system is supplied by two stations a is a thermal power station is the base load station and b is a hydroelectric power station is the peak load station so we've got two stations number one is station a which is thermal and the thermal one is the base load station and then you have got a station b which is a hydroelectric power station and that is the peak load station fine and have the following cost models so the cost models are given for station a what do you have is you have rupees 75,000 uh, plus 80 times 80 on the basis of the kilowatts of the maximum demand and then plus 0 0.02 on the basis of per unit of electricity Similarly, for station B, you have the cost model, which is rupees 50,000 is a fixed cost. These are basically in the three-part form we've seen, right? Then 50 on the basis of the maximum demand and 0 0.03 per kilowatt hours. Fine. So these are the cost models given. Determine the installed capacity of each station. So the installed capacity. So I, I did we denote it by PT or what? Well, just, just, just let me write it in installed capacity. Installed capacity of A is unknown. Installed capacity of B is unknown. And for how many hours per year the peak load station should be operated to give the minimum cost per unit generated. So which means peak load station is station B. So the number of hours for which B is operating. Uh, so I will write what I will write this so these are the three things that are unknown right yes so let's get started so we start off with what let's say I do some division over here I say that this is my peak load state this is my peak load this is my base load whatever it may be so let's say this is my peak load so the peak load would be then what would be equal to the installed capacity of the station B so let's say I name this one this one this that this is being supplied by the the peak load station I name it as Y 
right yes so this is basically your thermal station a this is your hydroelectric station b and these x this on the x axis is time so let me name it as x and these are the number of hours for which the peak load station is running in coordination in in, in coordination with what in parallel with the base load station so to provide the base the peak load right yes so what do you have is now first of all i need the installed capacity have a look if you go for the cost models let's say i name this as ca and this the other one is cb for instance these are the governing equations so what do you have is you need this one is the fixed cost that is nothing to do with it. the other is based on the maximum demand or in this case i would like to go for the installed capacity let's say i will consider the installed capacity equal to the maximum demand and then i need the number of kilowatt hours generated by each so what do you have is if this y is let's say the installed capacity of what the, the installed capacity of b is y right yes so what do you have is if the if the installed capacity of b is y and it operates for what and it operates for x hours in a year right yes is that fine is that fine yes it is so what do you have is you have what that the energy delivered by b this implies what that the energy delivered by b eb would be half this is a triangle right so this would be half into x into y isn't it like this it is now what do you have if this is the energy delivered by B, so the energy delivered by A would be what? The energy delivered by A, this would be this whole area you could see. So this would be half of 50, let's say I go in kilowatt hours. So 50 into this thing and then 8760 is X and then you have to subtract this B energy. So minus half of X into Y. Isn't it like this? it is right yes now if i go for the similarity of the triangles similarity of triangles so this implies what y upon the whole y upon what 50000 is equal to x upon this thing x upon 8760 isn't it like this it is so from here you could calculate the value of x in terms of y so x would come out to be 8760 divided by 50,000 this comes out to be what this comes out to be 0 0.175 this comes out to be 0 0.175 y fine yes now put this value of x in this eb if you put this value of x in eb what do you have is your eb comes out to be do the calculations for yourself eb is point, uh, point 0.087 y squared 0 0.087 y squared fine now you've got your eb in terms of y so uh, what to do next you've got your ea you've got your eb let's say i also do this putting the values over here also okay put this value of eb over here also this is the value of eb right and do this also multiply this this comes out to be 219 in 10 power 6 219 into 10 to the power 6 is this thing and then minus half of xy is this thing so minus 0 0.087 y squared so you've got the I told you that we need what I need the power of both and a power demand or the maximum demand and I need the kilowatt hours for both so so I go back to the governing equation I go back to the governing equation which means I named it as CA was the cost model of A so this comes out to be 75,000 plus what is it it is 80 into the installed capacity of the maximum demand and what is the installed capacity so for B the installed capacity is Y so for a it would be 50,000 minus y 50,000 minus y and then plus 0 
zero two per kilowatt hours and the kilowatt hours for a are what they are this thing 219 into 10 to the power 6 minus 0 0.087 y squared now you can do the calculations by yourself have a look 75 then, then this multiply this thing would be a constant then you would have a y term then you would have a constant and then you would have a y squared term so well whatever it is the cost model i would just write it directly from here is what you would have a constant term one in terms of y and the other in terms of y squared so this comes out to be 845.5 into 10 to the power 4 minus 80y and minus 0.00175y squared this is the final cost model for a right yes similarly similarly the cost model for b would be what cb this would be 50000 plus 50 times the kilowatts for b is the install capacity is y and then plus 0 0.00 uh, no 0 0.03 and the kilowatt hours generated by b are what they are this thing uh, or i wrote it over here they are in terms of y squared so write it over here 0 0.087 y squared so this implies what that the cost model of b could be simplified to what 5 into 10 to the power 4 yes it's 50000 right so 5 into 10 to the power 4 then plus 50y and then plus what do you have is this thing 2.6 into 10 to the power negative 3 y squared now this is one cost model let's say i name it as a this is the second cost model i name it as b what are we interested is we are interested in install capacity and the time for which they are running in parallel which means they are coordinating over here so for coordination what do we do is we add the two we add the two equation a plus equation b would give me what would give me the cost model a plus cost model b which gives me which implies this give you the total cost this gives you the total cost right yes so do this one is y squared one is y and the other is constant so have a look 850.5 into 10 to the power 4 845 in this right so 850.5 into 10 to the power 4 this is the constant term then you have in terms of y is minus 30 y and then for y squared you have what plus 8.76 into 10 to the power negative 4 y squared right yes now for optimum we need the minimum so for minimum what do you do is you take the derivative and then you equate it to zero so take the derivative of this with respect to y because y is your independent variable so what do you have is i would uh, write over here is what i would take the derivative which is dc t over dp right yes so if you take the derivative so the first term or uh, just cancel out then you have a negative 30 only and then you have plus 2 into 8.76 whatever this comes out to be just i will write over here i have not done the calculations 2 into 8.76 into 10 to the power negative 4 y right yes now what do you do is you equate it to zero you equate it to zero fine so this implies what that you have got your value of y from here you have got your value of y from here and what would that value be 15 no sorry 30 divided by this thing it would be 30 divided by 2 multiplied by 8.76 into 10 to the power negative 4 this comes out to be 17.1 megawatt approximately i would just write 17 megawatts do the calculations 
y is 17.1 megawatts i always tell you to do the calculations okay i do this in a hurry or i just take the book or i just take some notes and i do do it over here the main idea over here for me is to deliver the concept the procedure the road map the calculations i'm not interested in over here fine so this y has come out to be 17 megawatts which means what what is this y this is the installed capacity of station b which is the peak load station so i would write over here the installed capacity of station b is 17 megawatts similarly if you talk about the installed capacity of a so that would be the total 50 minus y which is 50 minus 17 is is what it's 33 so the installed capacity of a is 33 megawatts so which means you've got this you've got this now the hours for which this is being operated so that is x right yes so have a look from this equation you you can calculate the value of x put it over here so x is equal to x is equal to 0 0.175 and 17 megawatts so 17 into 10 to the power 3 in terms of kilowatts to do it whatever you do this comes out to be 3000 i believe i will just check it over here i will just check it over here yes this comes out to be 3000 this comes out to be 3000 hours fine so this is also done so that is it that was about your question number one that was about your question number one now i can tell you a, a shortcut as well over here what you do is 80 minus 50 upon 0 0.03 minus 0 0.02 i've done this sort of a question previously as well this would directly give you x which is the number of hours for which the peak load station is being operated now you got x you can directly go for y right yes Similarly, do I need to write it? Do I need to write it? X is equal to, this is just a shortcut I am telling you. Do, do try this out. 80 minus 50, fixed cost minus the variable cost of the running cost. 0 0.03 minus 0 0.02. So, this gives you directly the number of hours. This gives you directly the number of hours. Now, if you got x from the similarities of triangle, you can directly, this equation, you can find out y directly. So, you've got the hours, you've got the installed capacity of 1 as well. You can put down the values, whatever you want to do. Try this out. Example number 2. A load center is comprising of a commercial scheme has a maximum demand of 200 megawatts. Example number 2. Maximum demand is 200 megawatts operating at a load factor of 65% In order to supply the demand there are two options Supply the load through either a thermal power station or a hydroelectric power station Right? Yes. So compare the options when the following data is available So you've got two options one is hydro, one is thermal. A data is available. So do the calculations and let me know from where you want to take the electricity. So of course I would take it from the cheaper one. Yes? Yes. So the plant is this one is the plant. Which one you have is a thermal. You have is a hydro. The capital cost, CC for the capital cost per kilowatt of the maximum demand is given which is 1 lakh rupees 1 1 2 3 4 5 10 to the power 5 right and for this this is 4 lakhs 4 into 10 to the power 5 right yes then you have the operating cost and the operating cost is per unit consumed per kilowatt hours so for this it is 20 for thermal and for hydro it is 15 and then you've got an interest and depreciation factor interest and depreciation is on the capital cost right so you have 10% for this you have got 10% for this 
So they are, they've given you the load factor of the area. They've given you the maximum demand of the area. They've given you two options. You can supply it from either a thermal station or a hydroelectric station. Do your calculation and let me know which one is cheaper. From where should I take the electricity? So I will, of course, I would go for the cost minimum. So if, if hydro is cheaper, I'll go for hydro. Thermal is cheaper, I'll go for thermal. And next, they are asking you the load factor in part B. The load factor FLD at which both costs the same. So this is my second. Now let us go for the calculations. Let us go for the calculations. Thermal. For instance, first I consider is thermal. If I consider thermal first, so the first thing is your fixed cost. Which depends on what? Which depends on the capital cost of the maximum demand. So the maximum demand is 200 into 10 to the power 3. And then the capital cost is 10 to the power 5. And then you have an interest and depreciation factor which is 10%. So which would be 0.1. And this is on the basis of this thing. So what do you have is you have got a 2000 into 10 to the power 6. Right? 2000 into 10 to the power 6 this is the fixed cost per year similarly your variable cost of the running charge in based on the number of energy units consumed so the energy units are how much first you need to calculate those e is equal to fld into maximum demand into time you've got the load factor is 65 percent you've got the maximum demand is a 200 megawatts the time is a yearly so 8760 the number of energy units comes out to be 1138.8 into 10 to the power 6 1138.8 into 10 to the power 6 kilowatt hours so the variable cost which over here is the operating cost is 20 depends on the energy unit so 1138.8 into 10 to the power 6 the variable cost per year comes out to be 22776 22776 into 10 to the power 6 per year again so the total cost would be what the total cost would be the fixed cost plus the variable cost which is what add the two this comes out to be uh, uh, 24776 yes yes 24776 into 10 to the power 6 per year of course and then if you go for the cost of electricity which means the per unit cost so that is the total cost divided by the total energy units so which means you have 24776 into 10 to the power 6 divided by energy units are how much 1138.8 into 10 to the power 6 so the cost of electricity for the thermal comes out to be rupees 21.75 21.75 per kilowatt hour this is for thermal now go for hydro go for hydro for hydro what do you have the fixed cost fixed cost depends on the maximum demand so maximum demand is 200 into 10 to the power 3 the figure for this it is 4 into 10 to the power 5 right yes and then the interest and depreciation factor is also on the fixed cost on the capital cost so this means you have to include this point one as well so the fixed cost for this comes out to be 8000 in 10 to the power 6 have a look the capital cost is quite greater over here this is of course per year similarly then the variable cost so the variable cost is on the number of energy units so the energy units are 1138.8 into 10 to the power 6 multiplied with uh, what 15 so this comes out to be 17082 17082 into 10 to the power 6 per year of course and then you have what the total cost so the total cost is the fixed cost plus the variable cost and this comes out to be 25082 25082 into 10 to the power 6 per Year. now if I want to calculate the cost of electricity in per units so that would be the total cost which is 25082 
divided by the number of energy units which is 1138.8 into 10 to the power 6 so the cost of electricity per unit comes out to be rupees 22.02 per kilowatt hour so have a look have a look what have you got you've got the cost for both now from where would you take the electricity that depends on you so of course you would take from where it is cheaper you would take it from the thermal from the thermal it came cheaper now you would say that i was uh, telling till now that this uh, the, the the hydro is cheaper right so that doesn't matter actually over here these are some fictitious values or according to the given condition whatever could come cheaper that is not a big concern normally the operating cost of hydro is less the operating cost of thermal is higher whereas the capital cost the building cost the fixed cost of the hydro is far greater than that thermal and there is the loading condition load factor that is something else the numerical values whatever it could come anything could be cheaper so from here of course of course i would go for the thermal i would go for the thermal i would take electricity from this power generation now you would say this is just a minor sort of a difference so don't be deceived you would say this is a 22.02 and then you have a 21.75 what is the difference oh, just i this is my friend you know i'll just take it from this hydro so no this is not the case actually this is not the case what do you have is the difference just find out the difference the difference is what 22.02 minus 21.75 0 0.02 or what 0 0.27 0 0.27 is the difference but this difference is on per kilowatt hour and then the total amount difference amount is what amount is 0 0.27 multiply the energy units do this multiplication this comes out to be 307 million rupees 307 into 10 to the power 6 rupees this much is the difference that you are creating this much money you are saving if you are not if you are going for the cheaper one if you go for hydro 307 million rupees you will be spending extra you will be spending extra is that fine it is so you do not have to be deceived the, these these uh, uh, amounts are on base of per unit only then you multiply it with the total number of unit this is a big amount then this is per annum you're not going for one year three to seven million for one year you are going for a bigger projects right yes now uh, you know what the next is for what load factor the costs both would be the same so i will just write it over here part number b so part number b is for thermal let's say so i take the, just the maximum value let's say maximum demand is pm i'm not representing it with anything the energy units are e i'm not taking the mathematical values the load factor is fld right yes so for thermal let's say for thermal i just in, uh, denoted with one right so the fixed cost one would be what the fixed cost one would be uh, 10 to the power 5 isn't it yes 0 0.1 uh, 10 to the power 5 is the capital cost per maximum demand and the interest and depreciation factor is 0 0.1 so this comes out to be point, uh, no sorry 10 to the power 4 of the maximum demand right similarly the variable cost variable cost 1 this would be what 20 multiply the energy units and the energy units 20 e right and 20 e means what 20 into maximum demand into fld into time right yes or you could say the total cost total cost 1 comes out to be at the 2 10 to the power 4 pm plus plus 20 pm fld into time similarly if i name for the hydro i name it as 2 so fixed cost 2 would be what for hydro you have uh, this thing uh, 4 into 10 to the power 5 4 into 10 to the power 5 of the maximum demand and depreciation factor is 0.1 so you have 4 into 10 to the power 4 of maximum demand right 4 into 10 to the power 4 of the maximum demand similarly the variable cost 2 this is what 15 
15 times E. So this would be 15 times maximum demand times the load factor times time. Right? Yes. Similarly, so you can have what the total cost 2, I would just write over here. Total cost 2 would be 4 into 10 to the power 4 PM plus 15 PM FLD time. Now, the question is, I need the load factor for which both costs are the same. So, which means total cost 1 is equal to total cost 2. Right? Yes, if. So, this implies what? This implies this thing. 10 to the power 4 PM plus 20 PM FLD into time. This should be equal to 4 into 10 to the power 4 PM plus 15 PM into FLD into time. So, what do you have? What do you have next? Have a look, the maximum demand, this comes out to be independent of the maximum demand. PM cancels out. PM is common, PM cancels out. Right? Yes. What can you do next? You can do the calculations by yourself. This is a yearly load factor. Just put T equal to 8760. Put T equal to 8760. So what would you have? Uh, do you want me to do it? Basically, so this is 10 to the power 4. Right? And then you have plus 20. FLD into time and this is equal to 4 into 10 to the power 4 and then you have uh, plus 15 FLD into time right yes so just put t equal to 8760 in this equation what do you have you only have one uh, unknown and that unknown is your FLD which is required the load factor this is 0.68 this comes out to be 0.68 or this is equal to 68%. So if this commercial area or this load, loading condition, whatever this is given, if this operates at a load factor of 68%, the cost of the thermal and the electrical you know, the, the, the hydro would both be the same and what can you do is you can just take it as a homework and confirm confirm the costs over here take the energy units now if the load factor changes the maximum demand is the same maximum demand is the same if the load factor changes the energy units would change so if these energy units changes by changing the load factor what do you do is you do the calculations on those energy units, you will come to the conclusion that the cost of electricity in the thermal would be equal to cost of electricity in a hydro. Take this as a home or just try it out. Right? Yes. So I'll finish this video over here. I will see you in the next video where we see two more examples. So till then, take care of yourselves, everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers. Do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.